So, welcome back, and this time we're doing the Heap 2 challenge. And we've solved this challenge when we get this output. So let's take a look at the source again. Um, as we can see, we have an auth struct. Then we have a global variable called auth, um, which is appointed to an auth struct. And as we can see here, um, here's a comparison with line and login. And right here, if we have the auth integer in our auth variable checked or set, then we get the out output we want. And if not, we get another output. So let's take a look how we can set um, that integer. If we can, if we take a look here to first uh, initialize our global variable, we need to enter auth, and then um, we allocate um, we allocate uh, um, some bytes on the on the heap. And then as if our name we have specified, as we can see here, uh, our um, our command line input gets read into a line into right here. And if our, our string length is less than uh, 31, then we copy our name into our auth name right here. So um, because of the string um, length comparison right here, we can't overflow it easily. But I've noticed that we allocate um, only four, um, eight bytes right here, which is just the pointer, um, just the pointer to a struct auth um, right here, um, which is normally just four bytes. Plus, there must be some padding, I guess. Um, and we can take a look at that in GDB as well. So uh, there are actually two ways to solve this challenge. But let's take a look at the intended way first. So for that, we just take, we'll just start the heap2 binary. And as we can see, auth is uh, null and also service is null. And as we can see right here, we can free our um, pointer to the global variable auth um, again right here, right there when we provide reset. So let's do auth test. And as we can see, we've allocated some space. And let's reset it again. And as we can see, we still keep that pointer even though we have freed that memory again. So we have a use of the free vulnerability right there. So now we can also allocate space for a service. Um, if we take a look right here, it just um, copies the string we have right there and gives the uh, and allocate space for that, copies it into there, and it provides and returns the pointer to the space we allocated for the string copy. And if we can take, if we take a look right here, it um, allocated the same pointer, so we can now do that over and over again to override things in the auth struct. 
So we just do that again. And let's do it another time, just to overwrite more things. And now let's see if we can log in. And as we can see, we've logged in already. And that would be the way to solve it with the use of the free vulnerability. But we actually don't have to do that. And I will show you why right now. So um, let's set a breakpoint just at the main. And that should break every loop, I guess. And let's run it. Now off. Let's call it test again, just for simplicity. And let's make this a little bit bigger, right there. And as we can see, our heap begins right there. So let's inspect 20 words as hex this way around. Oh, I'm sorry. So right there we can see the size of the allocated uh, chunk. And as we can see, that is uh, way too less to contain uh, the information of the struct uh, because the name alone has 32 bytes. And what happened here is um, here the size of auth doesn't refer to the struct auth, but it refers to the to the pointer, and that's only four bytes. So we have four bytes plus four bytes of padding, and 11 is only here because um, we have eight bytes of um, eight bytes of of header information, and the last um, bit is set because the previous um, chunk is also used. And that only indicates that. So if we would now just allocate space for a really large string or something, we would override this memory right here. And as we can see right here, we have auth, which points to here. And now um, We have an offset of around 40, of, of 32 um, in hex, um, to point to the auth um, variable. So, as we can see, always for forward, we can easily overwrite all the memory right here. And we would also be able to set off that way. So let's do that. Uh, of course, I'm I did enter that into the uh, GDB terminal, which is, of course, it didn't work. So continue again, then log in. And as we can see, we've solved it. Um, that way as well. So yeah, if you don't mess up, that's really easy. Yeah, thanks for watching again. So yeah, see you next time.